Artillery Duel was released for the Astrocade in 1982 and ported to several other consoles, including the Atari 2600, which is the version I'll be talking about here. It's a turn-based, one-on-one shooter where you and an opponent each control a cannon with the goal to shoot down the other. When it's your turn, you select the angle and power you want to fire with and hope for the best as you watch your projectile slowly make its way across the field. And I mean slow. Yeah, it's more dramatic this way, but sometimes you know you've missed by a mile and it's like, alright, I get it already. And that's not the only aspect of the game that's slow going. Each time you land a hit, a whole sequence plays through where the unfortunate cannon falls off screen, which to be fair has some cool explosion sound effects, and the flashy screen was a nice touch. But then that's followed by a couple soldiers that march around, and then the randomized map has to reset and then drop the cannons back into their new positions. It takes a little while. I can totally forgive the map generation load time, and I don't have a problem with the cutscene sequences existing. In fact, this is something that you don't see in Atari games very often. But all these bells and whistles are completely unnecessary for just one hit. You scored a point, big deal. Save this shit for when you win the match. But then it turns out you actually can't win a match. The game just goes on forever. I guess they just expect you to come up with your own goal to end the game, and since the game is actually two-player only, you'll have to come up with some sort of agreement on how this works. All that being said, having a randomized map, as limited as the map is, I mean it's just the difference in terrain, it was a great feature, because you would otherwise be able to figure out the formula to get a direct hit every time if you had the same map, or a limited number of pre-rendered maps. The cannon placement is also random, which adds another variable, and just for good measure, you also have to take into account the wind, which changes every turn on the hard difficulty, which I highly recommend, as this forces you to adjust, you can't just increase the power by a point or two if you came within inches on the last turn, for example. Besides the wind change, the harder difficulty also gives you less time to fire. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that there was a time limit. It's 30 seconds on the easy mode and 15 for hard. This was vital to keep pressure on the player. You shouldn't be able to just take all the time you need to calculate your shot. Plus it's realistic. Your opponent isn't going to just wait around all day. Once the cannon is loaded up and ready to go, it's on. But there could have been more modes or variations. Maybe being able to adjust the speed, for example. But I think a big one would have been giving you the ability to fire at the same time as your opponent, with both meters on the screen at the same time, so you have to juggle between making your decision quicker to get another shot off, or to take that little bit of extra time to get your parameters correct, even if it means being vulnerable to an additional attack from your opponent. I don't know if that would have been too much for the 2600 or not, I'm no expert in the limitations of the console's capabilities, but I think it would have made for a better game, even with the slow pace, which is ultimately Artillery Duel's Achilles heel. It takes the competitive shooting aspect from combat, and combines it with the parameter selection from Human Cannonball, which is a good idea on paper, and the concept has certainly been recreated with good results, but unfortunately, the game could have been paced a lot better. The action is painfully slow, and the non-gameplay sequences suffer as a result, making the whole experience feel like you're spinning your tires in quicksand.